The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here back once again with author Gina Tool of Scholarship Strategies, finding and winning the money in need here on the Mike Widener Show. She talked about the book. She talked about how she got started and some of the tips on how to get the scholarship money, the strategies you need, and everything else. And she's got a latest update and some brand new ones as well, too, and some great ideas. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plush Studios, somewhere in the United States, ladies and gentlemen, the very wonderful author, Gene O'Toole. Gene, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Hi, Mike. It is so exciting to be back. And it's great to have you back as well, too. You did really well the first time. You're the author of Scholarship Strategies, Finding and Winning the Money You Need. That's available on Amazon, and we also have some updates as well, too. And before we get to all that, uh, once again, quickly tell us how I got started. Yeah, sure. I mean, um, I've been working with students for now over 15 years, and I've always helped students with different success strategies. But, um, you know, about um, about 15, 16 years ago, um, I was doing uh, some some leadership training for students throughout the country. And um, I was speaking at some college orientations and doing some high school assemblies and even though we were having great conversations with students uh, about how they can, you know, get the best grades in their in school, how they can strategize for great internships and career development, it in all of the conversations with these students, high school and college, you know, after after the fact, students would come up to me and they say, you know, what, Jean, I'm really grateful for you know the help that you provided today, but you know, I got to say, my family and I were worried about the cost of college. And Mike, I so related to that. I mean, I was the first person in my family to go to college. And I remember, you know, those years of scrambling, trying to find some scholarships. And, 
you know, we, we all thought that we were doing everything that we could be doing, but all of those conversations motivated me to start doing a deep dive into research on how the situation can be different for families. And I started learning more and more about private scholarships. That's what I've become an expert in, Mike. Private you know, scholarships are scholarships from companies, organizations, individuals, foundations, you know, scholarships that are not directly from a college or university. So somebody wins that money, you're able to use that anywhere that you're heading off to school. And that just launched an enormous path for me. And I'm super excited that over the course of the years, now we've had students win anywhere from $20,000 to $200,000 using the strategies that I created to help people uncover these dollars. Mm -hmm. And also the book, once again, Scholarship Strategies, Finding and Winning the Money You Need. Once again, quickly tell us about that. Yeah, so um, we wanted to put together, you know, a how-to uh, for families because at the end of the day, I want every family who wants to have a different result with regards to, you know, scholarship money, I want them to be able to make this easy for themselves. I want them to be able to uh, do this in a really quick and efficient way and keep their students uh, motivated in this process. And so the book is actually um, based on uh, my uh, program that we created for schools. Uh, we've had over, ha over I've had over 150,000 students across the country attend my program, whether it's been, you know, as a high school assembly or a parent seminar, um, a school program. And our, we put the book together about that. It, we have together 25 specific strategies on how families can take action on finding more scholarships outside of their co their school guidance office. And then I also include a little bonus chapter of 15 ways to cut the college bill beyond financial aid and scholarships. That is amazing. What are some of the ways that you can cut the co cost as well, too? We went over some of those um, the last time, maybe just to give a recap on a couple and maybe a couple that uh, we didn't touch on last time. Sure. So, um, you know, one of the greatest ways to cut the college bill is to bring into college as many college credits that that a student can accumulate in advance. OK, so um, high school students can take um, uh, uh, courses even at their community college, um, their local um, their local universities and also through, you know, even some um, some online sources where they can actually uh, take a course uh, that would be uh, either 50 percent off, 75 percent off or even free um, to that high school student. And they would be able to earn college credits based on that and bringing that into day one. Second way to definitely earn college credits in advance is if a student uh, has taken any advanced placement classes during their years of high school and they test, um, at, they take uh, their AP exam and test well enough um, on that AP exam in high school to actually earn automatically uh, full college credit uh, for that uh, for that course. And then the third way is uh, different um, different summer programs that are offered for high school students. Um, it could be even really creative. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be academic, uh, but different uh, courses and 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 programs that will offer uh, you know college credits uh, at the completion of the end of that program. And I'll tell you, Mike. You know, any student, if they are walking into day one of college with even even just a handful of college credits, that is going to be um, some significant savings for a family. But I've seen students who, because they have planned ahead, and this is this is really what it takes, is just looking ahead and tapping into the uh, resources that could be right in your community. Uh, I've seen students who have started day one of college with anywhere from 12 to 18 college credits. Mm -hmm. And Mike, 
that makes them not a first, you know, first semester, first year student. That that earns them the position already as a second semester, first year student. In other words, cutting out an entire semester of college. And that is when we are getting into the tens of thousands of dollars of savings. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic. And once you're accepted to a college or if you're in the middle of your studies, are there scholarships you can still apply for? Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, um, every day that we are pursuing education. So, you know, whether you're um, whether you're at a uh, traditional four year college or if you are at a community college, if you're at a trade school, if you are an adult who is returning uh, to uh, additional education for maybe certifications for your profession every day that we are walking in the role of a student there are scholarships that we can apply for and win. And I'll tell you, that's what's exciting. You know, uh, I was one of those students, Mike, who, although I had, you know, found and won some scholarships, and I also was had received some scholarship money, um, some academic scholarships from the college I went to for undergrad, it still wasn't quite enough. And I, like, so many Americans found myself sitting down with my folks, signing my name to some student loans. And right now, student loan debt is $1.6 trillion here in the United wow. States. Yeah, and that's not, th that $1.6 trillion of student loan debt, Mike, it's not just, you know, recent college grads who are paying back those student loans. That $1.6 trillion of student loans uh, is being paid back even from folks who are in their 60s still paying back student loans. So what I what I recommend to anybody who is listening to your show right now is if you um, have anyone in your family who is currently a college student at any level, undergrad, graduate school, you know, even a doctorate program, if you are walking in the role of a student, you know, take advantage of uh, the, the scholarships from private sources, companies, organizations, individuals and foundations. And let's pay off the student loan you may have signed your name to. Let's pay it off in advance so you can strategically walk off a college campus with the degree that's or that certification and no student loan debt. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing as well, too. And uh, just one more thing before we take a time out here. How much money will one need for college tuition, books, room, board, and especially travel? You got the scholarship, but how much money would you need to get the tuition, books, room and board, travel, or other expenses and everything else? Sure. So um, depending on it, so that number varies on, on if you are, obviously, if you're staying at home or if you're going to a uh, uh, a uh, public school or a state school or um, a, a private a private school, but here are the averages. So, if you are um, heading off to a four-year uh, public uh, state school and you're going to be staying on campus, um, and you're going to be obviously, uh, if, if you are needing that room and board, that family should plan right now on average to be setting aside. Uh, roughly thirty thousand dollars a year. Wow. Okay, for for a state school, um, for a private school, that number um, has gone up to fifty thousand dollars a year, and that's again these are averages. There are some private schools that uh, tuition, room and board is now around uh, eighty thousand dollars a year. Wow, that is yeah. something. Yeah. And of course, you also offer the cost cutting ways as well, too. And during the times of pandemic and uh, what's coming up, we'll talk more about that. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by SoundEquip Studios. Visit online at soundequipstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundEquip Studios is the answer. SoundEquip Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. 
3960 or email to support at com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author Gino Tool of Scholarship Strategies, finding and winning the money you need here on the Mike Widener Show, just giving some updates and also filling in on some key issues um, we did not uh, get to the last time. But however, you know, because of the pandemic and uh, everything that's going on in this country right now, and um, also when it comes to um, – online learning and what's coming up in the school year it's also uncertain can you also win win scholarships as well too for online learning or say like for a trade school or say if you go on the missionaries or anything like that and um how, how does um getting scholarships um you know changing when it when it comes to the current pandemic and, and how can you get a scholarship during the time of the uh the covid crisis Sure. So great, great questions. So, so first of all, um, yes to scholarships uh, for trade schools. Yes to scholarships uh, if you are um, going on a, a missionary trip. Um, if you even want to just try, study abroad, there's there are specific scholarships for that. If you are someone who is looking to do a community project um, and and something special to really help your your community, there's even there's even scholarships for that. Because again, why? These are scholarships from companies, organizations, individuals, foundations, I mean, private sources who want to honor, um, uh, you know, efforts in areas that they are also passionate about. And yes, um, there are scholarships, uh, whether your campus is going to be uh, online or if it's going to be in person. Um, in fact, the great thing about private scholarships is that, you know, um, if you are if you are awarded a scholarship, it gets awarded Mike one of two ways, right? And uh, it'll tell you right there in the application uh, for the scholarship. And I always recommend families to make sure that uh, they they jot it down so that way they know um, or copy and paste that information maybe into uh, a um, a virtual calendar that they might be keeping for their scholarships. Uh, but so the one of two ways that the scholarships get awarded, one is that uh, they will, uh, if you're the winner, you're the recipient, uh, they will uh, connect with you to find out what college are you going to, you know, where are you, where, or what trade school, where are you pursuing your education? And then that money will be, they will connect with your educational institution, and that money will literally be um, sent directly to your um, your account, right? Your tuition towards your tuition or any expenses that you have at that college campus. So that, that means, you know, if a scholarship that you win is going direct, going directly to an educational institution, it doesn't matter if your classes are happening online and virtually, or if, if you are, you know, taking classes in person. Uh, now, um, with regards to the pandemic, there have been, even more exciting things going on with scholarships, Mike, because number one, companies and these private foundations, they recognize students and families are going through a lot. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, deadlines, um, deadlines are being extended. Uh, there's even special categories that some scholarships have been uh, creating Um to that are addressing even uh, the 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 COVID nineteen pandemic and and before I get I don't want to get too um, I want to come back to the to the other way that monies also get awarded to a, a student or to a recipient if you are the winner you are the award recipient and it's not uh, monies that are being sent directly to an educational institution uh, you'll get a check in the mail. OK, you got to check in the mail. So that means that you're able to use that, uh, use those dollars for whatever type of educational expenses that you might have. Um, there were some scholarships that I won where I got a check in the mail and I definitely put those towards uh, books and, you know, other expenses that um, I was going to have during college. 
And then some scholarships went right to the institution. The one, uh, the one exception to this is, and one thing that we talked about last time on your show, was that there are scholarships for students of all ages. Mm -hmm. And that means that there are scholarships for kids as young as five and six years old who are in you know, kindergarten and elementary school all the way, all the way. Uh, to senior citizens over the age of 65. And if you happen to be a younger student, so I'm talking about those uh, students who might be in elementary school or middle school, and uh, they are the recipient of a scholarship that is for students of younger, in those younger grades, um, either, the, either the family will get a check in the mail, and that means that family can either save, invest, or sometimes families use that money uh, for, you know, specialized educational camps that they, you know, might uh, be looking for funds for to, for help for helping their student. Or if it's the substantial amount of money, I mean, when I say substantial, we're talking, uh, you know, maybe five thousand dollars or more. Uh, usually, then for a younger student, it will be awarded in the form of a bond. Like a savings bond that will mature when, yeah, when that will mature when that 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 child uh, turns eighteen. That is amazing. And can students help create a scholarship that they can apply for? Yes, 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 yes. I am such a, an advocate and a, a fan of scholarship creation. In fact, uh, I think I think every not only do I think students should. Uh, could be creating scholarships that they can apply for. But I think every small business should be creating scholarships because it becomes a huge win-win for anybody who creates scholarships. So let's talk about students. So first off, you know, if a student um, is involved, let's say, with a youth group at their church, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, wouldn't it be awesome um, if that group, if, if as, a, as a group of students, uh, they uh, decided to do a, I, maybe they do a car wash or some other type of fundraiser uh, to uh, create, to generate monies uh, for a scholarship that could be for any students who might be graduating that year, uh, you know, from the youth group who have been, who have been uh, part of that youth group. It is, it is unbelievable because when you, um, you know, families, and I, and I want every family to be thinking about this, and you know, just now as as, as um, you're listening to this show, if you are if you are a, a, a parent of or a grandparent of a of a student, you have done some fundraising in your life, all right? <laughs> every student, <laughs> they, there's there's fundraisers for everything, right, Mike? I mean, there's you know. Um, I, it shocks me. Like there just seems like there's fundraisers for everything, right? But why not? Why not actually do a fundraiser uh, that could create a scholarship, uh, create scholarship dollars for students who are maybe graduating from that that club or that group? And, and do, I high, yeah. Go and ahead. do the and do the cookies come with it? <laughs> uh, you know the. Uh, um, it depends on what type of, fun, of fundraiser you're going to do, but, um, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, you know, what, what's it, but see what's exciting about that, right. Is not only, not only could you, uh, do a fundraiser, um, where you are, you know, creating opportunities for yourself. And I, I use the example of, you know, maybe a youth group at a church. Cause I have, I have seen so many, I've had so many students who have even approached, uh, their churches, and uh, and and maybe when there wasn't scholarships in the past, they said, hey, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Right. Mm -hmm. And and, um, you know, not only does that open up, obviously, scholarship financial opportunities for that young person, but it builds team working skills, leadership skills, communication skills. And and what's even better is that you're building legacy. So. You, you know, you're creating a scholarship that that you potentially can reap the rewards from. But you know what? You've now laid a, laid the foundation for future students um, in your club, in your group, in your organization to also continue with this. And it can grow and expand 
and more and more people will be impacted in the future. And that is super exciting. And it's super exciting. And how about some obscure scholarships where the qualifications are so minimal that almost anyone can win, like a zombie apocalypse? You can just tell us all about that. <laughs> yeah, I love the zombie apocalypse scholarship. Money. Um, it's such a, you know, <laughs> there really are scholarships for everybody. And the zombie apocalypse scholarship uh, that's a scholarship that, uh, well, first of all, you, you'll never uh, you'll never forget uh, the the deadline. It is Halloween every single year, and it's simply a creative writing exercise um, for students uh, age 13 and up, uh, where they can win a thousand dollars simply by um, writing, you know, a, a couple of paragraphs on on how they would actually battle a zombie apocalypse oh my uh, goodness I'll have, to t- I'll, <laughs> I'll have to tell that to my boys they're experts at it so <laughs> that's great that's great you know and and you know um there's it's it's so it's so exciting i mean we're constantly researching you know different scholarships my and and you know i come across scholarships all the time that are um that are really really interesting opportunities there's a scholarship that um, has has uh, that that's going on, and I, I encourage everybody to check it out. It's it's called um, it's called the Breakthrough Challenge Scholarship, and this is a scholarship that is open to students age 13 through 18, and they're looking for young people who have big ideas, mm. big ideas. So whether so whether it is. In fact, they added a category this year on the Breakthrough Challenge uh, to, you know, to hear a big idea from a young person um, with regards to how to, uh, you know, how to um, approach the pandemic and COVID-19. But, um, but the Breakthrough Challenge, the, here it is, they're looking for creative thinkers. Mm. And, and the amount on the Breakthrough Challenge, Mike, $250,000. Wow. Quarter million. Think quarter of million. all the possibilities. Guys, you better put your thinking caps on. That's <laughs> Cause right. Because Bill, Bill Gates will be coming for you and might work for him. Bill Gates will be coming for you. So put your caps on, guys. <laughs> and, That's and, right. And, of course, you talk about the um, obscure scholarships as well, too. How about the unusual the strange and also something you never heard of scholarships, making just uh, throw out a few of them, which are maybe say that, how do I put this? Not obscure, but um, rather odd, interesting, unusual, or maybe how do I put this? Uh, (laughs) I I, I think you get the idea. You, you want some, you want some interesting ones, right? So, um, so yeah, I mean, there's, so there's a scholarship uh, where you can win $500 simply if you have red hair. Uh, there's another scholarship uh, where you can win uh, $1,000 if you happen to um, be a certain height. So that means if you are um, a, a female student who's five foot ten or 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 taller, or for uh, uh, young men if you are six foot two or taller, you can potentially win a thousand dollars from the Tall Club International Scholarship. Oh wow! Uh, there's yeah, <laughs> there's a there's a scholarship from the Haiku Foundation, um, where it's literally open to students first grade through graduate school. Um, you can get up to a thousand dollars. That definitely line is is in um october oh my god um, so that's yeah right you know writing um so so write a, ha- a haiku and you could get up to a thousand dollars and and, um, and what and what was it again you, what did you say what it was yeah it's the the haiku foundation oh bless um, you yes the haiku foundation um and uh their scholarship is specifically called the writer's square um and it's uh it's and it's so it's you know haiku writing or even photography uh, and, and receiving up to, you know, $1,000. Uh, there's um, a great um, scholarship uh, I came across recently for students ages 8 years old through 16 years old who have done just a project um, in their community that helps the planet in some form or fashion. It's called, it's a scholarship called uh, the International Eco Hero Award. Huh. And it's for, yeah, e- the International Eco Hero Award for young environmentalists. Um, get, you know, get up to $500. Maybe you've done something in your, in your community to, 
maybe you've helped your neighbors with their uh, sorting their recycling or whatever you know you've done to, to help the planet locally. Mm-hmm. You know, lots of exciting opportunities. Also, how about one for having like buck teeth or sound like Elmer Fudd? Maybe do Bugs Bunny impersonations, or you know, <laughs> how, how about some funny ones? You know, funny scholarships, or like say, you know, maybe funny looking. Remember back in the day, you know. Bob Hope had big nose. Jimmy Durante had the schnoz and Bing Crosby had big ears and everything else. You know, it's like, you know, just something unusual. Maybe scholarships for that. Well, there is, I have not come across a scholarship for particular, uh, you know, features other than, you know, things that might be like, if you wear glasses, you can get a scholarship. However, a a really funny scholarship that's out there um, is a scholarship um, for duck calling. Duck if calling. You, duck <laughs> hey, calling. Did you yeah, hear that you duck dynasty? Thousand dollars. <laughs> hear, hear that duck dynasty? Come on, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Willie, Robertsons. Did you hear that? <laughs> if you, if you, um, if you have, uh, if you think you have a really good duck call, you can apply, and uh, yeah, I believe you can win um, at least a thousand dollars on that. Oh my gosh! I can see people quacking up over that. That is just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 a way to you know spend some time uh, in quarantine, right? Practicing your duck call, to win some money, <laughs> and, and and of course you know besides the TikTok and um, Facebook, YouTube, and everything, I mean. Find some ways to win money while you're in quarantine. That's right. That's a really good one. So, all right, we have about a few minutes with Gino Tool, but first, listen to the Mike Whitener Show at themikewhitenershow.com. It's powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author Gino Tool of Scholarship Strategies, finding and winning the Money in Need here on the Mike Widener Show. It's available on Amazon and other outlets as well, too. And what are some other newest techniques that you also have in terms of scholarship strategies, um, something that may, may not be included in the book or maybe in an upcoming book you'd be doing? Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely working on a, um, on a, on a strategy book to help, um, to help with students kind of mapping out their plan. And this is, this is something that every family could do. So what happened? Because, so let me just back up two minutes and just say that you know, so often. Uh, my phone starts ringing off the hook, and people reach out to me on social media uh, when you know their back is against the wall. Right? Oh, interesting! And, That's a good one. Yeah, and you know, well, you know, they're they're maybe their their back is against the wall, and they need to find some money fast. Mm-hmm. And and of course, you know, there are scholarships that have a faster turnaround uh, time than others, but strategically. And this is something that um, wasn't featured in the first book, but we're definitely talking about, and I want everyone to pay close attention. I want every family uh, to be looking at, if you can, a year out from however old your student is, okay? So if, you know, um, if you could be looking at what are the scholarships that are going to be due a year from today, all right? If I have, if I start mapping out in a year in advance, what are the scholarships that um, are open and available to students in my grade, with my talents, you know, with my interests? And then what I can do is I can actually start really building uh, myself to get qualified for those monies. So I'm not having to rush uh, to and scramble to try to get applications out. If I, if I have that year, I can kind of map it out um, easily over the year, really, really be mindful about how I'm spending my time so I'm not wasting time. But most importantly, Mike, get myself as to be the most qualified person for that particular scholarship and not just cross my fingers and hope for the best. 
Mm-hmm. And I think that's very important as well, too. And, of course, you also got to watch out for some of the um, online scams that go on. Maybe you can just uh, point out some of those. Yeah. You know, un- unfortunately, right, with just with um, just with, you know, anything, we do have to be uh, careful. Right. And making sure that that uh, we are not, uh, you know, falling into some sort of scholarship scam. So here's a couple of red flags for anyone who is getting into this process. Number one, uh, careful of any application that is insistent upon you, including a Social Security number. Oh, right? really? I mean, we are this. These are scholarships from private sources, not the federal government. OK, mm-hmm. this is not financial aid. These are the scholarships are from private sources. And so, um, you know, uh, if, if a scholarship is from a private company, a private organization, uh, then, um, you know, I want you to be obviously, as in everything that we do uh, online, be hyper protective of your Social Security number. Recognize that there are scholarships for students who are um who are recent immigrants, non-citizens, whether or not somebody has a social security number does not prevent them from participating in some scholarship opportunities. And so really be be, um, super protective of your social security number. And the second thing that that I would um, recommend is careful of any application that is insistent upon you buying something in order and I've come across this these scholars these scams um, you know that are asking a student to purchase something in order to apply uh, for uh, the monies or if they are um, asking you for some sort of registration fee or um, telling you that there is a guarantee that that you are going to win a scholarship Right. Those are all big red flags. Please be careful. And um, I want everyone to, you know, to be protected. Mm -hmm. And also, most importantly, be safe as well, too. And um, also, once again, just in a quick nutshell, how do people apply for uh, scholarships? So um, so, uh, you know, the 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 fastest how to. Um, and I do have, a, by the way, a, a free uh, downloadable PDF um, at connections101.com on how to get started in finding scholarships. So it's free. Take advantage of it uh, because that is the most common question I get. How do I actually start finding some scholarships? But first step always for families is to create what I call a personal search engine list. And Mike, this is a big, uh, this is um, a super important first step that frankly, a lot of families skip. And I don't want you to skip this step because that's how you miss out on monies. It should be a brainstorming uh, session that you do as a family on what accomplishments, what things that you have done uh, in your past, what you um, are currently doing now, what you want to do in the future. And and it should be a big brainstorming session about every, every I mean everything. If you are someone, you um if you are someone who plays video games, put it on the list. There's scholarships for playing video games. You you have a pet at home, put that on the list. That means that you can apply for scholarships for caring for animals. Oh, so interesting. Ev- oh, yeah. Everything about you. It should be this massive brainstorming session that over the course of your scholarship search, my hope is that you'll continue to even add to it. And second step is to uh, dig out what I call in my book, ready to go materials. So ready to go materials would be any past homework assignments that your student has done in the past four or five years that they got a pretty good grade on. So if they got at least a B on it, let's 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 dig it out. Um, any essays, papers, projects, whether it was in school or outside of school, maybe there was a project that um, a student did uh, with uh, the Girl Scouts or someone did with the Robotics Club. Dig that out. Let's find scholarships that connect to that. Here's here's why. Uh, what why why most families miss out on money, Mike, is that uh, just naturally we all have these kind of these uh, I call them the scholarship blinders on, mm-hmm. and we get super hyper focused on what is obvious right so here's what my my gpa is or what here's here's how i'm doing with my grades here's uh here's what i do 
um, outside of the classroom, so clubs, sports, other activities. Here's what I did for community service, and here's what I want to do uh, for you know, what I want to major in college in, right? So my, my career goal. So everybody gets so naturally focused on those handful of items that they forget about everything else. Here's an example. Uh, there's a, a, a scholarship that, um, that is um, literally about Abraham Lincoln. Mm-hmm. And it asks you to write um, to uh, that you where you do, you know, you could be a student who is pursuing any uh, particular field, uh, but you, they the the application requires you to uh, write um, and submit an essay about Abraham Lincoln. At some point during school, um, there was probably a time where you had to write an essay about, uh, you know, our history as a country where Abraham Lincoln was mentioned. Let's dig that out. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, that Abe, yeah, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, that's right. You know, even George Washington admitted cutting the cherry tree down. Honest, <laughs> Abe is being honest about this. He's being honest. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it's really it's use what you have. Dig out the ready to go material and let's find scholarships connected to that. That's going to be a massive time saver saver. And you can get out tons of applications without having to spend extra time and energy. And then the third thing I always recommend as far as, you know, finding scholarships. Right. Um, and in, and getting in the process is uh, next to realize that there are resources beyond your school. So of course there's the, you, you're, um, you know, please utilize any and all resources that are at your local schools. I'm a super fan of all college advisors and guidance counselors. They're doing amazing jobs, but there's more scholarships than get sent to the high school. So check with your family, um, your family, uh, uh, their companies and their their unions. See if any of your relatives are part of a union or if their employer has scholarships or family members, uh, check out uh, and use scholarship directories. You can check them out from your local public library. And for sure, uh, use online uh, scholarship uh, website websites to be able to uh, find scholarships quickly. We have a free list of them um, uh, um, at connections101.com. Download it and, you know, use it. It's free. Uh, We have a whole list um, of different uh, online uh, sources where you can start getting scholarships sent to your email right away. That is fantastic. Lastly, how about uh, scholarships for uh, homeschoolers? Oh, sure. So, um, so um, it's just, it's, there's no, um, uh, the majority of private scholarships are open and available to students, whether you are a homeschool student or not. Um, so uh, definitely, for sure, um, you know, take advantage of it. In fact, uh, I have a lot of families who who um, are homeschool families who connect with me and reach out to me uh, because uh, maybe they don't have um, the they're, they they're not getting. Uh, the support that they should get, but maybe they're not getting the support that they need uh, from maybe the local school's guidance office. Um, and I, I highly recommend families uh, to to um, not just uh, be looking again at those scholarships to pay for future college education, but maybe even winning some money right now, regardless of how old your student is, uh, because every family, um, especially now, right, especially now during our during this time of the pandemic, um, you know, finances uh, for most families, you know, in this country um, have changed. And uh, let's take advantage of the resources that are there and um, and help uh, to literally um, either fund a current uh, educational goal or a future educational goal. Mm-hmm. And that's very important as well, too. Once again, author Gina O'Toole of Scholarship Strategies, Finding and Winning the Money You Need here on the Mike Wagner Show. Gina, big thank you for your time. You're always fantastic. Looking forward to having it again very soon. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase your book? 
Mike, it's always exciting to be here on your show, and I am a super fan of you. Um, so oh, thanks thank again you. for having me on. Um, yeah, um, I um, I would love to hear from anybody who's out there listening. Uh, reach out to me on social media uh, at Scholarship Strategies, either on Facebook or Instagram. You can pop me a tweet uh, at Scholarship Gene, uh, but you can also find so much information at our website, which is connections101.com. Um, our book, Scholarship Strategies, Finding and Winning the Money You Need, is available there, but it's also available everywhere books are sold. So um, take advantage of that. And uh, there are two exciting uh, new uh, projects that uh, we have started doing to help families and especially support them during this time. Uh, we have now uh, launched our uh, virtual scholarship club um, opportunity, so that way any family uh, can kind of, we, who needs some help, kind of just keeping the the train on the tracks um, and and some guidance uh, virtually. You get access to me and my team, um, and we're doing it really, really, really affordable, uh, literally for only twenty five dollars for a month uh, to be able to help a family really uh, get that support. And we're also doing some individual sessions I call them the jumpstart sessions and uh, that's if a family wants a really customized plan mm -hmm. but you can find out about that at our at our site connections 101 that's fantastic and one more question before we go we definitely love to have you back on 2020 and beyond do you also offer scholarships for uh, podcasters or those who listen to podcasts or super fans there are definitely scholarships for media so um um, if you um, and if you are um, if you have, you know, there are scholarships where uh, the application is um, is all about creative media. And if if you are, um, uh, you know, someone who, um, you know, would like to apply for those scholarships, what's exciting is that you could submit you could submit in uh, your podcast, you could submit in your um, your uh, map for creating a pod podcast or expanding your podcast. Um, and um, for anyone who is out there who just, you know, loves uh, loves podcasts, um, I will say there's a scholarship that that um, in fact, is, it's coming up. Uh, it's coming up now in uh, in August of, of uh, this year, as far as a as far as a, a deadline. It's a scholarship that um, where you can get a thousand dollars simply by a answering the question, "What makes you happy?" So, and, and you know what, what makes you happy is listening to your show. Definitely apply. Um, it's the Jake Brandon Harris Scholarship, um, and uh, you can get up to a thousand dollars if you just answer the question, "What makes you happy?" Oh, that's amazing! And I'll have <laughs> to remember that. And um, you know, just sign me up. Show me the money, and I'm looking forward <laughs> to having back in soon. Gina, big thank you for your time. You've been great, and love to have you back. And do us a favor, please keep us up to date. We really love to have you back on. Will do. Thanks, Mike, and, and be safe and and uh, take care. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. 
The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. <laughs>